Hello and welcome back for another episode of Scrapyard Engineers, episode number two. So I basically left off where, or was starting off where I left off last episode. Um, redesigned the trailer a little bit, made it a little bit wider. Um, we've got two hinges in the middle this time, not completed. Uh, one wheel is, I could probably take the tubes out of the wheel to make the hinges, but it's not going to be a huge issue at the minute. The crane here as you can see I've just got it ready hopefully if I've done this right we should be able to see the pistons let's just throw them on inertia tensor and I've got it on auto connect, so hopefully I mean I might need both extended here to grab this. Looks like I'm going to grab the very top. I was aiming for the uh, cylindrical section in the middle, but if it gets that bit, that's not a huge issue. Uh, unless it does something like that. which isn't such a huge problem because I can grind this block out and hopefully there's no issues. No, good. Can I reach to grind that? No. So let's just reverse one of them. Hopefully that won't be an issue because I'm going to grind this off before it comes down. Cool. Okay. Unknown signal. Right, let's see if we can get back in. on at the minute there we go because I'm in that hole the uh, yeah because I was in that hole it wanted to tilt into the middle so now hopefully this is a nice quick rotation of the hinge what I wanted to do is the rotor I wanted to do and maybe not quite so fast like one is a lot so is that far enough not quite. Let's have another little go. <coughs> Let's just reverse that. And I would say that is probably about where I want it. Are you lining up? Yeah, that looks good. Now, the 
way I've grabbed it, I might have to... I really wanted it here. But the way I've grabbed it, the pistons are going to be too tall for it. So I'm probably going to have to dump it at the back here. So... Hinge. Bring the hinge down. Hopefully that's not going too fast. And when it gets flat, we can see where that is lining up to. Uh, I th think the trailer just dipped because of the weight, not because it connected in any way. So let's just try that again. Probably get some buttons set for this as well. Okay. Now, if this is correct, I believe. Yeah, they're all on auto lock, so hopefully, fingers crossed. No. No. Okay, alright, well that gives me a chance to pick it up in a better position. So, mm -mm, how do I want to grab it this time? Hopefully, I can grab it from there. So, uh, um, this one and this one need to come back in. Let's get the rotor and get that turning. Before I do that, the hinge needs to go back up. Uh, that should do. Rotor. And reverse it and take the lock off. something okay so let's just take the hinge up a little bit more and 
grip bar on the rotor because it's still not quite straight. I think that looks good from here. Yep. Now, how is this going to try and lock on? Let's try bringing the hinge up a little bit more. <coughs> yep, looks good. Let's try a tiny bit more. And then that piston can come in. And hopefully that's enough. Where if I drop it, maybe I just bring it the whole way in. Okay, and then mag plate. Second time's a charm. We landed on this one. Okay. Well, that kind of takes all of the back of the trailer. Can I move this? over here. I probably should have done the wind turbine second. And a cargo container that I want. something spicy so thought there was a hole there part there and now we can try and grab the batter R so hinge needs to come down no not good okay probably a good idea to get out of this ditch or hole um, but I'll do that in a second turn the whole trailer then and somewhere somewhere about there I think should have us lined up and fortunately because of the way the trailer's gone I'm actually higher up on the block which might actually make this easier so
Hinge. Now then. Now then. Let's see how badly this work ends up. So we get the crane in. Too much and okay I don't think I've got much room to work with here so hinge needs to go all the way up throw that all the way to the top zero degrees maybe like one degree two degrees So about there, turn that rotor back round, no, yeah that's not good. <coughs> I think I need another set of wheels on the trailer to stop it from doing that. At least I know, I think you can see the piston rubbing on the car a little bit. Allowing it to start moving in and out again. So somewhere about there is where the middle point is. And fingers crossed again that this falls the right direction. We'll get good. That much, but never mind. Like that on that side. crossed again fingers crossed mm. doesn't a bike there's enough room for it to fall in between but Maybe. What happens if we do something like that? It's not going to block it from coming in, but it might land on a corner over here. So. There uh, we go. That looks like it's locked on. Cool. Battery and wind turbine. <coughs> Am I going to regret not having another suspension here? Probably. Or here. Maybe. I can still get another battery on there. But it'll pro it will clank. So. Do I drop it on the roof of the vehicle? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a good idea. Oh, that's because of that. Yep. I need to be on this side. A motor? Well, I don't know. No motors? Interesting. Am 
motor. Where can I grab a motor from quickly? Did this thing have anything in it? Are these just construction components? Motors. Yeah, boy, what else did it have? <coughs> Construction components. More motors. More construction components. This was trash. Uh, let's throw. somehow and weld that one up right okay so there is actually the cargo container as well but the thing with the cargo container is uh, it's got no grids in it it's just construction components so it's the grids really that I want at this point if it had any in it I would think about keeping it but it is just construction components so I'll probably leave that one behind and just take oh, I don't know why I jumped this side just take the battery with us foresee issues here so I should probably not do that come at it from the other side do with uh, some practice with a trailer so as you can tell I am not the best I have a feeling that So I'm already starting to. Oh. Get out of the hole at least. And right, if I just go straight to the hinge, I don't think I even need to rotate it. And I can no that way. Bring it down. And if I'm clever, I should be able to. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Accidental button pushes. Uh, okay, so if I put the distance at one and see where that leaves the mag plate, I think that should work. So back to the hinge and take the lock off. Uh, 
it did tilt me, but it didn't lock to the battery. So, hopefully, mm, it's probably not a good idea to have that amount of pressure on it. So, let's just oh, reverse the hinge a little bit. Like there. So, the wheels are back down. Now, let's go in here and convert it to a ship. There we go. And let's try that again. So, lower the hinge. Has it got enough now to grab it? Yes, perfect. Uh. It is tense as it comes round. Is it going to collide? If I leave it there, where did I put the mag? I'm just going to get it out of the hole again first. And it kind of wants the top end. Where's that mag plate then? <laughs> it's like right on it already. Truth. No. <sighs> no, I want it to happen. I am probably about to get struck by lightning here, as I can hear it going on in the background. Uh, connect. Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, that might be why I'm still tilting. So, again. Let's just drive forwards and maybe get ourselves downhill. Back out to one meter. Up 
1.6 will do. see a massive storm over in the distance. Oh, there we go. Sorry, from the main body of the car. Lower that piston back in again. Um, turn the rotor just a little bit. That should be good. Lower the hinge again. Hopefully that should give us a bit of weight hanging further over that way. And I'm hoping that battery on the roof should give me weight, but doesn't look good at the minute. So, and it is very, very stormy. So, uh, I think the sun came up over here somewhere. So I think we need to head this way. Now that we've loaded up. And that does seem to be better. I only have a view out of this side if I want one. So, oh, that's frustrating. That is very frustrating because I set it to do that. Do you know what? We're done. We are done. So. I see a big mountain over there in the distance. Let's start making our way over there. Whether that's a, another dune or an actual mountain, who knows. drive for a little bit and hopefully something will come up hopefully normally I don't know it took me a couple of minutes in the first one so just make sure my wheels stay down so we are a bit back heavy see anything. Doesn't look like it. Another Incon lookout tower over that direction. Let's head this way then. Hope that something else.
pops up at some point in the next couple of minutes. That is the one thing about doing like this kind of like scrapyard playthrough rather than um, like a traditional survival let's play is that the spawner kind of dictates the pace of your playthrough and it might not be particularly entertaining to watch me just driving around in sand dunes a lot of the time. <coughs> just double check those stations, they are the same ones. saving. Does that mean it's going to do anything? Update some juicy structures somewhere near me? Given the direction of the shadows, I think I want to be heading this way. Ooh. Is that a tree or is that something? Tree. Cool. Okay, right. Ooh. She's wiggling. Not exactly sure what's going on back here. Uh, do I see something on that hilltop or did that. Was that deceptive? trees but the environment has shifted so it's like we've got less of the desert dunes now and more mesas Ooh. Mesas or bluffs. Quite sure what you call them. Let's just double check that I haven't got any other things that are coming up. No. I'll just do a little general explore of this area. And if nothing comes up in that time, I'll pause it and bring you in when, uh, when something more exciting does actually happen. So... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything at all. Look out towers, incon stuff, but still 
nothing of use or value. <coughs> hoping for more than this. A bit of lag. Incon again. Why are we getting all Incon stuff? Is it because the MES keeps spawning those? Hmm. drive towards it and see if it actually rewards us again this time for heading towards something rather than away from it. Still, still nothing. Um, very frustrating. Keep making my way over there. I can see a, a rut or a ditch here, so looks like we're alright on the top of this bit though. Where is it taking me to? It's interesting at the very least. But yeah. Uh, as there is nothing, I will bring you back when I find something. Uh, so I finally had a signal pop up and uh, yeah, literally took my eye off what I was doing for a second and went over a thingy too quick and yeah, we have lost our wind turbine. So not a great start there. But um, I have been out of the game and changed the mods and got rid of the independent contractors because it just kept spawning them. Um, and yeah, as soon as I've taken it out, the next thing that spawned in was something. So I'm not sure what was happening there because it spawned the first building in fine. But yeah. So there's a base potential here, but we've lost our wind turbine. So let's see what we've got. bits. Sure what happened then. Might be something loading in but it wasn't. So what is here? Hydrogen tanks, hydrogen engine, hydrogen tank. Yes. Small cargo container, batteries, H2O2, 
and one of these shed things, okay. 15 power cells. Full. And another 20. That might be enough to repair one of them. But probably not. We'll have a battery underneath. What is over here? I've not found any better tools yet, which uh, the solar cells nice would come in handy, but Yeah, see, if I'd have had that wind turbine still, I probably would have set up right here. But now that I haven't got that wind turbine, this is just building blocks, so it's not anything important. Tons of batteries on Inventory here. Full. And I haven't even got the cargo capacity for it. as well put them in there. So I'm going to need 34 power cells I believe. is as I can't use it this here is very useful again another one of these small little buggy things I think I might go and come back because uh, this is definitely an option so yeah I'll bring you back again when I find something else Okay, so I've got another signal here, 1.2 out, and yeah, I'll bring you in when I'm back there. Okay, so there we go. <coughs> A little collection of uh, cargo containers, it looks like. Um, anything useful? Okay, nothing in that one. 
Chips. Batteries. Nine needed. Oh, oh, oh. There is a cargo container here. Nothing in that. There's a That's not a turret, that's the turret. There we go, controller. Six components. Uh, it's got grids in it. Let's have those. Thank you. Again, I'm not sure we've got very much space. I'll be honest. Okay, that's better than what it was. Actually, got some space in here. Well, I can put those. Nice. Okay. So, is everything that side? Did I check this? Did I already check this? No. Good grinder, good grinder, good grinder. No. Still. A lot of computers there, that's pretty decent. More tubes in there, and more glass. Okay. Just construction components. There's plenty of construction components in this game. <coughs> seem to have a problem with that's cool uh, yeah I don't have, seem to have a problem with computers either at the minute which is quite nice no grids nice Cool, okay. Which is good for cargo containers. There's nothing in any of them. Right. 
So the cells go. can get this to move I don't know if I need to convert it to a station or a uh, ship or whether it is mag plated anywhere so let's have a quick look <coughs> Why is that? Because I don't own the proper control seat? Or because it's in the ground? So it's not because of the seat. see anything connecting it to the ground so maybe it was just because it was colliding with the voxels and the wheels in the floor That's what I'm going to hope anyway. So, there we go. Nice. Uh, is that because it's got no power? I mean, I can see a battery in there. something a little bit crazy in order to get this done in the time that I need to do it so Two done, <coughs> and then do, 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 do. 
hopefully. Motor and construction components. Should have that. Easy days. In case I need anything else. Right. Theoretically, I should be able to zoom in a little bit more. Grab this bad boy. Like I say, I do definitely need more practice with a trailer. anything which shouldn't be the case because none of them are actually built so is doing this going to do anything because of the fact that I hooked onto the top of the engine instead of the actual wheels. So let's go back in. Mag plate, which one are you going to be? This one? Locked, yeah. Okay. You on? Let's have a look at what is happening. So I seem to be missing it. There we go. Locked. Hopefully. Drive. Mm -hmm. Do I have access to my trailer's wheels? <coughs> I do.
come on. <laughs> How much power do I need? <coughs> power or strength? Power or strength. Let's go 100 power. Come on. There we go. Oh, took a little bit of effort. But I got it. So, now. Uh, oh, just before I head off. Oh, we can't fly around. Did I leave anything of value? checked all of them. Did I check this one? Yes, just a grinder and a welder. Did the gun have anything useful? No, plate. Construction components. Did have some ammo, which is cool. Uh, yep. Okay, right, I'll uh, jump back to the home base and have this all back there. Okay, there we are, back at base camp, finally. So I'll just put the brakes on, jump out. And yeah, I think this is what we're going to call home from now on. Uh, we'll be working from this place. Uh, just because uh, the H2O2 here and a hydrogen engine here will allow us to store hydrogen in here, burn the hydrogen, produce the hydrogen and there's batteries as well and a connector so we can get it all lined up from big to small grid. Um, but yeah, no, a uh, little bit eventful. I really wish I'd managed to keep that uh, wind turbine but the fact that there's a whole extra car here to work from uh, as well as this extra little car right here and this sort of sled um, yeah I think we've got a little bit to work with uh, so I'll do a little bit in between episodes uh, get this kind of unloaded organized a little bit and I'll yeah the next episode we'll be looking for power basically I want couple of wind turbines or some solar powers or something like that and we'll be looking for components to upgrade our vehicle basically we want to go for a slightly bigger vehicle bigger crane bigger flatbed maybe all the same vehicle uh, just to make it a bit more stable so yeah if you enjoyed that episode hit the like button if you're not already subscribed click subscribe and you'll get informed as soon as the next episode is out which should be within the week. I'm trying to do one of this, one of the other playthrough at the minute each week. So, yeah, uh, appreciate your time, and I'll catch you in the next one.